G'day viewers and welcome back. Last week's episode we were lucky enough to have lived off the land with a clan of non-English speaking Aboriginal people in the most remote location in Australia. We tried to keep up with them, but let me tell you, it was hard work. A kangaroo, a wallaby, a emu. In this week's episode, we're heading out to Boima, a coastal indigenous homeland, and I guarantee it's the most insane beach camping, fishing and wildlife you've bloody well ever seen in your whole entire life. These fish have never seen a lure before. <laughs> and of course, in true SKT style, not everything goes to plan. And before we know it, we are down Ice Cream Creek without a paddle pop. Strap in because this video is going to be wild. This is Unland Unleashed. Alright, uh, we just pulled over here and we're on Boima and we found some uh, bush honey. So we're going to try some bush honey for the first time. Apparently it's nothing like our honey at all that you get from woolies and gulls. This is the real deal. So. For a bit of context here, we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. We were driving by and we seen this mob sitting around this tree and T.O. Nathan actually recognised them and they were so kind to share their honey with us. It was a truly magical experience and the honey was so insane it would have made Pooh Bear jealous. You go back a bit, Wait. Wow. That is so good. Far out, that is so good. But it's good on the inside. That's way better than our honey. It's like creamy. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. So tasty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's got stuff coming out. Yeah, it's overheating. So what does that mean? It'll be alright. I'll just take Bloody A. I'm excited. How good is that? How this good is, is this joint? Arnhem Land. <laughs> so today was awesome. We've just come onto Boima Land and there he's some of his people out there from his clan and they found a native bee hive. They've cut and the tree down and that is different yeah, honey. Yes, Nathan's partner was actually saying that's the first time they've ever sat down and had native honey with their family. So it's pretty cool that it's pretty as special. we're <laughs> driving into Boima, we come across their family and getting down some honey. We yeah. all got to have a little bit, so it was pretty yeah. special. Yeah, and actually Kevin was telling me today that he gets some native honey out at Darling Boy and he was trying to explain to me um, how to look for it and stuff but yeah I, I swear to god you'd need to spend at least six to months to a year just to work out the bare basics of what these yeah. fellas do out here and, and ladies is just insane eh? their knowledge of the land yeah. is just phenomenal yeah <laughs> but i uh, hope you've been enjoying the episode this far it's about to get a whole lot well, it's it, probably going to be more adventurous, yeah. than I think. <laughs> so we're going out, to, we're out on Boima now, we're on Nathan's country, and this is towards the coast now. He's got some sick fishing spots. He I'm reckons... We're going to go to a sunset spot tonight, up a big mountain. Yeah, and we're just swagging it in the um, in the, the um, blow-up swag. Reckons guaranteed barramundi <laughs> and bar guaranteed mud crab. So anyway, we're heading out here now, we're bringing you along for it. This is sick, this is definitely not the... Uh, standard episode you could probably work that out by now but uh we are having a fantastic time so let's uh keep exploring oh my gosh camping right on the beach holy moly look at this it's insane it's not what you know it's definitely who you know <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, right? Wait until you see this joint. This is next freaking level. What a spot, eh? Insane. This, our own private beach up in East Arnhem Land. This is phenomenal. Um, big shout out to Nathan for taking us out here. This is his homeland and uh, we got invited out here and I cannot believe that we're 
standing here on our own personal beach with no one around. And this little fella! <laughs> and we're gonna go fishing tomorrow, hopefully make a fire and hopefully go up that hill right there and have a nice sunset. <laughs> 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 So we just set up camp and Nathan reckons he's got the best lookout spot in the country and we're not allowed to turn around until we make it to the top so we're climbing up this big rock not as big as Uluru but which is pretty big I'm puffed already but cannot wait to see this lookout you guys can already sort of see it it's cheating a bit but yeah this place is magic hey bush cotton you are ready, eh? they look like passion fruits eh how cool is that? You wouldn't want to eat it. Look, I've, I've never eaten a t-shirt, but I don't reckon it'd be that good. Shit, I just turned me on. Oh, far out. Check this joint out. Well, it's safe to say this is an absolutely horrible spot. Look at that. I don't rate it either. Why would anyone want to come here? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. You loving it? Very good. This joint here isn't going to be staying a secret for much longer. Nathan and his family have actually decided to maybe put a campsite out here so everyone else can enjoy it. So uh, when's that happening? When can anyone else come out here? We're looking at getting things up and running at the start of next um, dry season. Yeah, okay. Yeah, around March or April yeah. uh, 2024. Yeah. yeah. So, mate, hopefully that's going to happen. There's a lot of work to be done, like a lot of permits, approvals, all that stuff. But if other people can come out here and enjoy it, it, it is magic country. You can feel it under your feet. Uh, thanks heaps for having us out here, man. Appreciate no it. Yeah. It's our pleasure. Thanks for coming. And tomorrow, Nathan reckons there's a 99% chance we're going to catch a barramundi. So, if you're wrong, I'm gonna hold it to you, mate. You know what? Let's go 100%. 100%. Shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. St stuff all the myths of saying <laughs> we'll bring bananas on the boat as well. No, no, none of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. We'll see you guys in the morning. Just for dinner. Chili con carne with rice on the menu. Mm. Exclusive deal alert. Now, just for a week only, Sam at iCheck, he's been making the best tyre pressure monitoring systems in Australia on an off-road mode. Wheel bearing sensors, you bloody name it. He's got a special, special deal for our viewers only. So, for this week only, so it ends at the end of the month, if you buy a TPMS, tyre pressure monitoring system using the code SKT, you'll get yourself 10% off plus a free first aid kit. This has got everything you can poke a stick at, plus free shipping. First aid kit, it's valued at 80 bucks. You'll get this free. For this week only with SKT, so have a look at that. It's got everything you could possibly need. Now, it's only for a week only. It's while limited stock lasts. Normally our code's SKT10, that'll only get you 10% off, but for this week, SKT will get you 10% off, free first aid kit and free shipping. So make sure you use SKT. That'll do, don't care. That'll do. Woken up, what a good sleep we had. Woken up in paradise. Paradise again today. And we saw our first crocodile at the beach. That yeah. was really cool. Woke up and uh, Nathan and uh, a few of the others here, they said, oh, there's a big croc. And we are like, oh, no way. And it's literally just cruising out in the middle of the ocean just here. So cool. Got a few cool drone shots of it. Yeah. And uh, today we're heading down to the river mouth. And um, so yeah. chill by the river for the day. Yep. Maybe go out in the boat. Yeah. Be good. So peaceful when you know you're sort of the only ones coming out here because it's all private land. So yeah, sick. very lucky to be out here. And Nathan reckons, well, you heard him last night, 100% chance of a barramundi. So <laughs> I, um, I like them odds. 
and uh, yeah, today's forecast. Hopefully it is slightly cloudy with a um, high chance of barramundi and mud crab, so. straight in the fridge. You wouldn't want to leave like a tomato in the bottom because you'd just chop it up. You dice tomatoes by the time you get your tomatoes straight out. Lunch. Maybe I'll put the cucumber in there and you can make our lunch for us. <laughs> Alright, so traditional owner Nathan has left us two white fellas to our devices and we've got our fishing rods and it's not quite right tied yet to put the boat in so we're going to have a flick over here. Apparently there's some mangrove jacks and barramundus and uh, a few other species we could get our hands on. I did throw the drone up this morning and saw some monster fish. Yeah, some big queens. But we don't really, we're not 100% sure we know what species they are yet. Fingers crossed they're a barramundi, but we're gonna just tread through this little bit of water over to that sand bank over there and uh, dodge a few crocs and hopefully catch a fish. So let's see how we go. Yeah. Fish on! Oh, it's my first cast. Oh, chin deep in croc country. Wonder what this is. If this is a barra, I will literally get naked and run into the water. It's coming over towards you. <laughs> what is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, good fish. <laughs> I can hear him laughing from here. <laughs> what have you got? It's literally first cast. How sick is that? So sick. Boimer. Little, uh, do you reckon he's a golden? No, he's going back in the drink, eh? Hey? Come on, mate. Don't get smoked by a big croc. There he goes. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Oh. oh, this is a good fish. Oh. Good fish. Oh, I lost him. Oh, he spat it. That was a good fish, man. Be as peel and drag. That actually could have been a barra because it was doing them weird um, thumps. You know, like a bigger tail, like a big paddle tail. Next car, see if we can pick him up. Oh, a bit of go in it. Another little gold. Oh, how's <laughs> this? Got the trav on there. Nathan's on as well. Oh, he's got some go in him. <laughs> How cool is that? So the plan is to drop these back with Kevin. Kevin's the guy that took us out trying to find the didgeridoos and stuff yesterday. So we'll drop him off some fish to say thank you. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a sick fun man. Untouched. So sick. <laughs> Get 
Runs like that. Yeah, it's a big one, eh? Hey? Go, Sarah. And then just walk it back once it gets close. Woo. Look what you caught. Yeah, that one's actually hard. How sick is that? Pick him up from the leader so that people like. Yep, yep. Just hold him up. Hold him up in front of the camera. Look at that. That is wicked. Bad. <laughs> Greg's on <tea>. This is good fishing. Pitch him up. Every cast you get a good fish. <laughs> Mental. I reckon this is probably the best session that I've ever had fishing in my life. Every cast you catch a good fish, eh? And it might look excessive the amount we're keeping, but we're not taking any. We're gonna take them out to Darling Boy community. And there's about 80 mob out there, so they're all going to get fed, well, a fair few of them anyway. And hopefully we put the boat in a minute and go down the river and get some barramundi, because at the moment it's just all these um, pelagic species out here on the river mouth. So I'll throw a gold bomber on, see if there's any barra around here. They reckon the barra love the gold bombers in this river, so we'll see how we go. They're ferocious. I swear to God, that, that fish just took a little popper that big. <laughs> These fish are that hungry. Waiting for the right time to upgrade your 12 volt setup, now is the time to do it. iTech World are having a massive Black Friday month sale, up to 85% off, and with our discount code SKT, that'll get you another 5% off, so up to 90% off store wide. That's lithium batteries, solar blankets, solar panels, power stations, DC and DC chargers, you name it, now is the time to buy. It won't be cheaper, don't miss out, it's while stocks last. Back to the video. So everyone say good day to Damo. He's another TO out here. He's Nathan's brother. And he's the sole reason that we are doing what we're doing uh, on his country here in Boimar. So yeah, massive thanks to Damo for taking us out, getting us in contact with Nathan, his brother as well. Apparently Damo's been watching the channel, so that's pretty sick, eh? <laughs> yeah, They're just having a crack with the hand spear now. <laughs> Definitely not gonna have a crack because I'll lose it in the bush somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty sick to see, eh? place is just alive. Yeah, Sitting in the shallows. Right here. Can you see it? No. Oh, it's just coming right under the boat. How can you see that? that I cannot right see here. anything. Whoa, whoa. So I'd probably go as far as saying that this fishing session that we just had uh, at the river mouth there was probably the best session we've had in our life. That's me and Sarah combined. Like honestly, every cast we were getting fish, I reckon half of them fish never seen lures before. That's how landlocked um, and special it was to be fishing that part of that river system. So um, yeah, we're, we're stoked anyway. But if you've been following the channel, right, you, you already know what I'm about to say. We've been chasing the elusive Barramundi or Barramundus for about uh, three years now. I've caught one and that was at Cahill's Crossing. It was about that big. Some people say it didn't even count because it was pretty much a guppy. Uh, it was a pup, so I'm chasing something a little bit bigger now. Nathan and Damo have been talking a massive game about their river system. And uh, they said near on 100% chance. Normally, if you say that sort of thing, you don't catch anything. So the odds were already against us. The fishing gods were already against us. So let's see how we go. Oh, 
shot. Oh, yeah. Shot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, We've got to get killing. It's a cod spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. I'll help you. Oh, there we go. That's a Look at that. With plenty of mangrove jack on the boat, but we're still chasing that elusive barramundi. Damo decides pull out the big guns and take us to his magic barra spot. Oh, nice. <laughs> this on red dot. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's got oh. 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 Watch the. Oh, he's got sharp gill rakes, yeah, eh? How sick is that? There you go. Doesn't look big. Got like, your barrel. No one knows, but like, my hands are like 30 centimeters, so that's an easier meter, eh? Finally, I landed a barramundi. Now, it wasn't a big one, but a wise man once said it's not all about size. So uh, we headed back to camp, and anyway, Nathan spotted this mud crab walking along the sand flat, and he decided uh, irresponsibly to give me the spear and let me have a crack at it now. It's safe to say I was having more trouble than a 99 year old on a laptop and uh, I made it look very, very difficult. You getting it? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get it. Woo! Is it through it or have you just got it around him? Oh, you didn't even get it. <laughs> Oh my god! Quick! Oh, it's funny, I didn't even get it. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, damn it! Oh, it's okay, I am. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> you came way too quick at me. That's exciting, they put a hole in it now. He's got his first, he's got his PB back. That is one lucky crowd. In like five minutes. In five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing that you're bleeding so much. This is your cousin. Baby cousin, that's your baby Wawa, and that's your baby Mitch. Well, actually, you call it him brother too. That's your Wawa. Yeah, right, right. That's your little Wawa. We spent the rest of the Arvo there at Boima hanging out with Damo and Nathan's family. It was an absolute delight. However, it wouldn't be a good video unless someone tried to get themselves ridiculously bogged. So the fellas, uh, let me say, had a pretty good crack at doing just that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Faster, faster. <laughs> Don't know, I know it's freaking 38 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Just mean you 
think the day's over. Everyone starts getting bogged. This boy in my sand is like literally quicksand, eh? And it's, yeah, it's bottomless if you keep spinning. And poor Colorado does, probably doesn't have as much grunt as that 76, so you're just struggling every time. So I'm just gonna throw the winch out. I love winching people out anyway, so we'll get him out piece of piss here. Turn your wheels. Turn you. There we go, we're off. How sick for the last two days, like honestly. It was the most unreal thing we've oh. ever done in our lives. I don't think you could ever really top what we just experienced in yeah. two days. <laughs> they were just so passionate about sharing their culture and their knowledge yeah. and their land with us. It was, yeah, yeah. really, really amazing. And we're so, so grateful yeah. for them having us. And then to obviously meet like our mates now, like Nathan and, and Damien, um, like take, them taking us out to Boima, like that's yeah. just amazing. Like it's just insane. And so all of the fish that we caught this morning out there on the beach, that all got taken back to the Darling Boy community and fed the community. So all of those fish didn't go to waste. It's gonna feed the community. I don't know if it's gonna feed all 80 <laughs> of them, but uh, I think we took about six or seven decent sized fish back there. So nice yeah, on train. <laughs> it's the least we could do to give back. Yeah. Um, and they really appreciate that sort of thing. And they're inland so they don't get too many of those fish. So yeah, anyway, I thought about that. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like, subscribe drop us a comment and uh buy some of our merch too because we've got some merch up for sale so anyway thanks heaps for watching we couldn't do it without you guys and uh for watching. yeah <laughs> in a private deserted island up here in east arnhem land we've just been dropped off by our mates via boat for the next 24 hours we're in croc country we need to find some food with this traditional spear that i've got here and a fishing rod we did pack potatoes because <laughs> we suck at hunting we'll see more jump and uh, yeah, they're good chewing, they're just big muscles. Oh well, not a bad little feed. Thanks for watching, legends. Make sure you click and watch this video right here.